trick you. However, I do know one illusion, but you guys probably don't want to see it, so I'll just move on. Uh, yeah? Yes, yes. You do? Yeah. All right, here we go. The only illusion in the pinwheel sideshow. No way. Oh my God. <laughs> you sat down for this. <laughs> All right, guys, that is the only illusion. I have had two thumbs the whole time. Everything else after that is very real. It is also mildly disturbing and very dangerous, so I ask that you please, children, adults, do not attempt any of the things you see me do here on this stage yourself at all whatsoever. We on the same page? So far. Yeah. Yes. We're not going to try it ourselves? No. no. Yeah. On others, maybe. Perfect. Now that I'm no longer legally responsible for your actions. Number two. Parents, you're welcome in advance. I, Pepsi, am not a role model. Please don't look up to me. Thanks. <laughs> we can't help it. We're on stage. It's true. <laughs> Number three is the squeamish factor. For those of you who don't know what squeamish is, squeamish are the butterflies you get in your tummy from eating too many caterpillars. <laughs> I'm kidding, don't eat caterpillars, that's me. And they'll never let you back into butterfly petting. Because you're not supposed to pet them. Tell me about the butterflies, George. <laughs> now, the types of butterflies you may experience are one of two or both go crazy. The first kind you can get when you're on a roller coaster. butterfly you can get when you see something that resembles that of a compound fracture. <laughs> Woo! Wee! Tickles! Yay! Yeah. Some of you know what a compound fracture is, maybe? Yeah. Woo! Wee! It tickles! Yay! is not what you would say. That's because those are the butterflies of uncomfortableness. They're the ones that make you go, gosh, the human body shouldn't do that. I'm uncomfortable. Why does it down? But don't leave yet, because I figured out a way to make being uncomfortable fun. Do you want to know how? Sure! You guys are carrying the audience. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? Yeah! yeah. All right! Because it's with medium kick. A drinking game! Woo! Now the game is not alcohol exclusive. Join in with whatever you want. But here's how the game works. If at any point in time somebody winces, that means if I see your face physically contort. <laughs> if you close your eyes, or if you audibly say, no, no, gross, ah, spiders, <laughs> I will point you out and we will drink. Drink. Number two, if anybody pukes, trash cans located down that aisle, it's the closest one, please share. <laughs> Blah, 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 trash can share, we will drink. drink. Number three, if anybody faints, I will point them out and we will drink. Call first aid. Oh. And then we'll drink. Yeah. And lastly, if anybody leaves in disgust, I understand you didn't know what you were getting into and you've decided that you just can't take it anymore. That's totally fine. No hard feelings. But if you do decide to leave, instead of being sad, we're just going to point you out. And we will! Drink! All right, guys, that's the disclaimer. This is not a role model. That's the drink again. We're ready to start! Hey. To start the show, I, Pipsy, will be removing an article of clothing. Calm down! Shh! Now, control yourselves! It's only my glove! The reason for this is because I'm going to show all of you something I call hand torsion. Ooh. It's like contortion, but with my hand. I want you to know I'm using a real hand attached to a real arm operated by me, a real human, and not five raccoons in a human skin suit. 
Crash Bandit. Crash Bandit. <laughs> Accompaniment, the beat goes like this. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Perfect! With that level of enthusiasm, the more into it you get, the more into it I get. Don't stop till the gloves all the way off. Hit it! Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da -da -da
wish I was in that. <laughs> silverware from diners because they will not take it back. This is from a dentist. Oh, wait. 
make that joke safe because everyone's probably real uh, old and only knows old Yeller and now has a lot of trauma. So, <laughs> speaking of trauma, up next, <laughs> we have two things left All right. till sword swallowing. And yeah, see guys, there's a payoff at the end. I do something really cool and it doesn't go up my nose. <laughs> context clues as to what I'm going to do with it. You just pick based off, I guess, how cool you think it is, or depending on what kind of audience it is, how painful you think it is. <laughs> so, we can either do whatever this is for, yeah! or we can either do whatever this is for. Yeah! Yeah! Crack, crack, crack. Oh boy, it's so close. <laughs> we'll have to do it by a round of applause. Here's my 
my stomach, it doesn't puncture it and have me bleed to death internally, an agonizing, slow, painful death. All right, so if this goes right, it'll still be what I do for a living. And if you guys, all right, you guys, um, this is actually my first time here performing at the Scarborough Renaissance Festival. And I so far and if you enjoyed my show and you guys want to see me back next year feel free to go on to the Scarborough Ren Fair page leave a nice comment like oh boy that Pipsy Pinwell sure is hilarious she swallowed a sword didn't die by your back <laughs> but if you didn't like the show that's fine pubs are open drink till you forget <laughs> now, if, you're, if you're not old enough I guess be sad I'm sorry <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, if this goes right, it'll still be what I do for a living. And if you guys enjoyed it, you want to come up, tell me you like the show, whatever. I have a little tip basket over here. I also have virtual tip information. All of your support and donations go into putting gas in my van down by the river. <laughs> I'm a motivational speaker. Yeah. I can taste the irony already. <laughs> Sword swelling really takes the edge off. This is the most metal thing I do. It's a real sword subject for some people. No, I don't have an OnlyFans. All right, it's going to go up. It's going to go down behind my heart, between my lungs, and into my tum tum. At which point, I will fold myself in half, make awkward eye contact with all of you, and pull the sword out to triumphant applause. worried about me hitting my heart, that is a very real possibility. But fear not, according to my exes, I have no heart. 